Tattoo artist, what are you doing? Why do the photos of your tattoos look like that? Really? This is 2023. Come on now. What's going on, everybody? I'm Shane Simmons. I currently tattoo at Pale Moon Tattoo in New Albany, Indiana. And I've just noticed so many tattooers out there have such good work. I'm sure. I'm sure it's good work, but their photos are garbage. What are you doing? From, from talking to a lot of artists and being on like private forums and all that stuff, I, I see all those conversations. Like, you don't want to get called out for being the Photoshopper, somebody that's presenting your work disingenuously, somebody that's like kind of smudging little mistakes here, darkening all the, the black areas to make it seem like you're doing better work than you can actually do. And I get that. I do. But come on. No photograph looks dead on exactly like it does in, in real life. And I used to not care. I used to be one of those people that was uh, like hashtag no filter to try to make sure like all the other tattooers around me knew like, oh, yeah, 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 I know what's up. I'm no cheater, but it's just for clout from other tattoo artists. If you're just straight up fudging your work to just like lie to people, then, yeah, that's a problem. But edit your tattoos to make them look right, to make them look like they do in real life. And the problem with having really, really bad photographs like yellow, gross, out of focus, rainy, just bad photographs of your tattoos is clients are relying on those photographs to speak for you when you can't. If they see that online somewhere or wherever they're being hosted, they'll look at maybe one or two pieces and think, oh, that's representative of everything that you do. And that's not fair, but that's the way humans work. So if you just have like a bunch of really gross looking photos, people just aren't going to come get tattooed by you. You might be the best tattoo artist in the world. You might have the best word of mouth references ever. But if somebody that doesn't know who you are looks at those photos and thinks, "Ooh, that's gross looking. Mm. That's a customer that you could have had, a client that you could have done some really cool tattoo work on and made really happy. Now, it really doesn't take all that much to make your photos better. You need decent lighting and you need to not be afraid to just make basic edits to your photograph. As far as lighting goes, just indirect light from like a bright window. Obviously, you don't want to be in direct sunlight. It's going to create all sorts of little specular highlights on it and make it look super shiny. And you won't be able to see uh, what's going on in the tattoo. So you do want like a soft light source. And you can get that, uh, like I said, from a window. Or if you want to spend a little bit of money, you can get even uh, off of Amazon, like super cheap photography and video soft boxes. It's basically just a big black cloth box that won't let light out through the sides. And it just has like kind of a hazy white cover on the front to soften that light up to make you sort of imitate the kind of soft light that you would see outside on like a cloudy day. Something else that's been helpful for me personally is tattoos of like inner arm areas and areas that kind of that if you're under normal top down lighting conditions are going to have a lot of shadow under there. You can use either like a piece of poster board or foam core or even like a purpose made reflector that uh, reflects that top down light off of this white or silver surface and bounces it back up underneath this sort of area so that it lightens it and gives you a better view of the whole tattoo. So half of it's not just in shadow. I mean, at this point, all the basic edits that you would really need to, to make to most photographs to get them to look mostly right. I mean, aside, there are always going to be exceptions, but you can do that with most modern phones. Like my iPhone has all of the tools in it to be able to adjust uh, my contrast and brightness and, and exposure and, and highlights and shadows and the black point and just everything. And if you have like a slightly blurry photo, you can go into the sharpness settings and sharpen it back up, make it look all crispy like it actually does in real life. And I know, I know sometimes it's just hard get yourself to take the photo if you especially if you do long sessions if you've been tattooing for like six hours you're gonna be tired your body's gonna hurt i totally understand that but i have to tell myself if i want to show this tattoo to anybody it needs to look right i need to take the extra 10 minutes 15 minutes max at the end of this session to get just a couple of good photos of it and of course take as many photos as you need make sure you've got a good pool of them to choose the best one from the first or second photo that you take is more often than not not going to be the best one i mean the sky is the limit for how you can improve your photography it is never ending 
but just to get the basic concepts to, to really level up your photos so that you can present something professional to potential clients isn't super hard. And we can make a big deal in attracting new clients and showcasing your work, letting people see how good you actually are. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know. And if you have any tips for photography stuff that's helped you out, go ahead and put it on in there down below. Until next time, stay red, y'all.